it's 10.53 on the morning of Independence Day. Happy hey. Independence Day to everybody in the US. But here in my craft room, it is time for... Today in my poo now. Today in my poo <laughs> So how are you? So how are you? He doesn't like my hair, Dan, because he doesn't like lying on it. So he likes to cuddle, but he doesn't like to lie on my hair. I don't like hair. You don't like it. He says it's scratchy. <laughs> right, go play them. Well, I'm going to be in here for a sec. You're going to be in here for a sec? Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll have a play. Oh, all right then. So, um, there was no live this week, there was no vlog, uh, actually I can't remember when I last, I think Monday was when I last uploaded the vlog, um, sorry about that, I'm fighting a cold and, uh, and I feel crap and I'm Mom, can I so worried about getting the flu again like I did back in February, now I'm talking, get down off of there, could you please go and play upstairs now, okay. go on, I'll see you in a bit, go on, okay, and I'll say bye in a minute, okay, um, yeah, I'm so worried about like, getting ill like i was in february that i need to just take a little bit of time out and recover but i've got a little bit of time free this morning and i thought i would just do a quick catch up with you guys and just sort of check in and say hi there won't be an evening edition because it seems to be the evening thing that is wearing me out i'm all right until about mid-afternoon and then i'm knackered i literally went to bed about like nine o'clock last night um i didn't go straight to sleep i didn't go to sleep till about half past ten but I went to bed because I was so tired. The last couple of afternoons, I've had to lie down on the floor at about three o'clock in the afternoon, you know, um, or just before that, um, before collecting down, just to have a quick rest because I've been so tired. I'm really struggling at the moment. I don't know what's wrong. I've got an appointment tomorrow with the GP um, about something else, and I will um, mention it to her then. Um, they're probably just going to tell me it's stress. You know what can you do so um i did catch up with um the challenges i did broom and a peace sign and the word sunshine i'm quite pleased how that came out and then um palm trees i'm not as happy about that it's too much swirl but i don't know how else to change that a potion bottle and the woodstock loaf So yesterday, I wore day face cream, I did not wear makeup. I did the challenges for two days, I did not have booze. I did have fizzy caffeine and chips. I did not craft. I did the garden and I would do the word and I did my night care routine, my hands and face. But yeah, I'm so, this is so bamboozled me this cold. It's, it's not to the level of like the flu was in February, but um, you know, I'm worn out and of course we've got the funeral is in a week my son's got all his stay and play sessions at big school because he starts big call school in September so instead of just going picking him up at 2.45 I've got to pick him up hang about take him into the school we're there for and it's rushing around in there it's, it's absolutely bonkers he's got sports day today a leavers trip next week <laughs> it's all go it is all go so yes I'm worn out but I've been fighting this for a few weeks now, as you know, and I'm just, 
I've got nothing left. I did my mood cone yesterday. I haven't been labeling these and I really should. So one, two, three. So yes, my mood yesterday was at a four and my pain was at a six. Because I hadn't been, I hadn't done too much, so that was alright. Okay. <coughs> oh dear. See, I mean this says I didn't actually fall asleep till half past twelve. Because I couldn't get comfortable. And then of course I woke up early. Um pen. So I'm literally just hitting target every night before crashing out. You know, I'm getting to my green and then that's it. I'm not going over. Um, not even like yesterday when we did the bingo. Um, because I'm just, I, I've got nothing there, nothing left at all. I may not even do a challenge next week. I might just captain it and cheerleader from your side. while I recuperate. It's been horrible this year, what with illnesses. I'm sorry for getting glare off of my face. The sun is reflecting off of the house opposite and it is literally right in my eye when I lean forward. <laughs> and I just thought it's possibly hitting my glasses. Um, yeah, this year's been horrible, really. Um, I haven't, you know, with Stuart dying and Everything else that's gone on. His dad's in hospice now. I haven't even had the funeral. And his dad's in the hospice. Um, he's very ill. He has been for years, but I think it's just, it's just done it for him. Um, so, yeah, I'm basically just waiting for that notification. But... And then I've been ill and just... Yeah, it's just shit. <laughs> um, okay, I did go in and I did Daryl's table last night. The only thing I haven't really done is clean to the office. I didn't clean up down the road either. I was going to, but I was waiting to take my car to the garage to get the new battery fitted. And of course I went out to start it and it, the old battery died. So then I had to wait for Alex to get up and come down. I haven't done words for the past couple of days. Um, oh, I'm going to have to catch up with that then. Right, so if this is the third, I need yesterday's pen, which is that one. Um, I went shopping with Callie and I think that's what I'm going to... Because I'm trying to focus on the good things. Yeah, right. We are caught up with the words of the day. Where's my pen? So that was two, that was three. Today's word would probably be sports day. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so Wednesday I basically took the car down to the garage. I've got to go and pick that up in a minute. Um, Dara went for stay and play and I set up for the weekend. Juicence has been moved forward to tomorrow and then I journaled for t yesterday as well just basically made about how tired I felt um, yeah right so we're going to change pen and we're going to get caught up with today my cart's been moved by Daryl <laughs> um, right, let's just... All of my pens are standing upright. I think you can see there, this is my Tombows and my Kelly's crates, and they're all standing upright on those Tombows things. But I keep hearing about how, you know, we should lay our pens down because it's better for them. Does anybody lay their pens down, really? Or are you all like me and got them all standing up? Curiosity. Let me know down below. <coughs> right, weather. It looks gorgeous out there today. Right, let's have some tea. 
for those of you who don't know and have only joined my channel in the last in a few weeks or so and a couple of people have asked about my my journal cover and where I got it from my poppins this was made for me by a lady here in England um, they no longer make covers I got one of the very last ones um, I call it poppins because you know and um, it's a custom job and it was made for me based on this mug this is a mug that my son bought me several years ago he scoured eBay because you can no longer buy these new they were a special edition he scoured eBay for me because I said I would be quite happy with it if you found it on eBay and he got it for me for Christmas a few years back uh, Christmas 2016 I think it was and um, I sent a f pretty much video footage of what I've just done there and some still photos to this couple and um, this was what I got back and I love it and it's it's real leather it smells amazing but yeah this is Poppins look great and it's custom and it's unique and it's mine and I love it so there you go because <laughs> I've had a couple of questions and every now and then I like to show her off and go this is Poppins look at her isn't she beautiful because she is and it's like I see these other ones and I go oh I want mine one of them and then I'm like well why I've got Poppins I don't want another one right um yeah there we are uh, 23 degrees it's gonna be today apparently that's nice isn't it <coughs> oh gosh is that the middle i can't quite tell one two i'm trying really hard not to lean over to a not getting the picture and b because i don't want that glare from over the road but it's horrible because the way the sun sort of sits here um, my gut, my the rear of my house, which is that side, faces true south. So at this time of day in the summer, when the sun is like pretty much at it's getting on for its highest, it's shining over the top of my roof, over the top of my house, and reflecting off of the houses opposite. That's the main road. The road is out there, and uh, it reflects off of their windows, and um, it actually makes this room quite unbearable in the summer because a this is a cold room but then you've got the problem of you can't see anything because you have this blinding light coming in all day long oh god what have i done there um oh my word i don't know what i've done weather where is it um yeah this blinding light coming in which is you know killing us <laughs> 23 13 450 plus the fact I'm fighting a headache so everything looks slightly off you know it's like that sun looks bigger than that one and it's not but my eyes have gone a bit doolally today and that isn't that isn't helping but yeah and that to me that looks bigger I have to get up here and paint it I'll do something, I don't know. I'll probably end up leaving it and then just like it will have gone too far into the month. Right, so I've got day face cream on. This is supposed to be like a silver. It's actually not quite bad. And then we we'll go through like silver and bronzies and a few browns. It's a bit mixed up really, this box, but there we go. Um right, should we put a card? me every day and we'll do that one so you know um, I'm not expecting to hear much because I know some of you will celebrate quite hugely on 26 but um you know hi baby what are your July 4th celebrations going to be people I expect you're all having barbecues or cookouts or whatever you call them. You know, when you slap meat on the grill, as I've, what I've been told. Um, with plenty of beer involved. Oh, you're always hungry. Can I have something? Nope. Boring. Of course. 
I'm busy. Not. Yeah, and I mean it. Go on, go play, please. I'm busy. Okay. Go. I'm going to be in the river. <clears throat> star. The star shows a connection to everything around you. Um, it shows a bit glare there, not it? You can see she's standing in the water, and the water is emotions. And um, she's the bridge, I suppose, between the, the stars and, and the water. So, yeah. Everything is in harmony for her at the moment. Um, the cat's not even eating the little fishy look. <laughs> um, the star basically reminds us that we are all linked, that we are all made of star stuff. <laughs> it's the same, guys. Um, I guess this is just reminding me that, you know, Look within, um, my strength is there, you know, everything that I need is within me. Um, but also, you know, to shine and, and help others as well. So, yeah, bit of a weird card to pull at the moment. I think this is more, not so much as to be helping others, but to look within myself for the answers that I need and the strength that I need. It's, yeah, actually, the more I think about it, the more poignant it is yeah so yeah I've just written and um, we're all connected look within yourself for strength and answers so we go. Um, do that a little bit later on or I will do it in the morning if I do another one in the morning According to this, I fell asleep about half past twelve. I was awake from six for a little while. It wasn't a very good night. It was weird. I went to bed because I was so, so exhausted. But I actually didn't sleep that well. And that's frustrating. You know? You go to bed because you're so tired and then your body goes, yeah, but you know what? You don't actually... I'm not actually going to let you sleep. And then by the time you wake up, your back hurts and you just feel like shit. So there you go. Right, we're Thursday today. I've done the loo and I've checked the laundry. I don't know how much I'll get done. I've got to go and pick up my car from the garage. I only need to do the banister and the bathroom as extra, so that's not too bad. I can Yeah, sports day at one o'clock. Do some through to tomorrow. Right. Um, I've got to draw a wand and a smiley face. So we're going to do a smiley face first. And yes, I am going to cheat and use my stencils. I don't care if you consider that cheating. I could draw a circle if I wanted to. If I, you know, but I don't want to. I'm going to use my smiley face. My stencil. Make the eyes too freaking big. I never remember the smiley face as open or, or a closed mouth. They actually didn't have fucking great big things like that, did they? Bugger. They had more little ovals, didn't they? Oh well. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> and then this weird sort of joker almost type smile. <laughs> oh well. 
to come out of it. I don't know that I like that font. It looks great when you see it on like like that all together. <coughs> but I'm just having trouble putting it all together, you know. I don't know what it is that I'm doing wrong because I'm copying what she's done to the best of my abilities, but it just looks too crowded. And I can't remember who I copied it off because I just screenshotted it and I cropped everything else out. So I can't go back and see how she's actually done it to in like proper sort of type, which is a bit annoying. Oh, this looks a bit busy. <laughs> Should I colour in those bits, do you think? Could that help? I'm going to try that. That looks a bit better. I think that looks better than that. Hmm. Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. I need to colour in those bits just to make it look a bit... I think that looks a bit better. Yeah, I prefer that. <coughs> yeah, I think I might go back and do sunshine in the summer as well. Yeah, that does look better. <laughs> hmm, okay. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, the reason I'm not going to do an evening edition is because I will probably edit this this evening. And we're already up to 42 minutes of footage, which means it's going to take me an hour to edit it and get it sorted and add in the little bits that I add in. And then I've got to upload it and do the end screen because it doesn't do all that automatically. You have to do that every single time you upload. And that itself will take a good half an hour as well. Um, I'm seeing spots. <laughs> so, yeah. And if I film more, then that all adds on to the time and there isn't really much more to film now that I've done that so I may do this for the next few days just to see how I do with it instead of doing two lots of film and try and do it all in one go um, I might even sketch up tomorrow's in preparation for doing it tomorrow um, that way I can uh, so tomorrow's is a daisy crown and the Goblet of Fire. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. Um, I can just come straight in and do it without having to fart about sketching it all. And I could sketch it all in front of the TV later, you know, while I'm resting or whatever, after sports day. Because sports day is going to wear me out. That's an hour on the field in the sun. Ugh. So, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. That one's a bit crappy. I'm very good at drawing ones. <coughs> you know, you can tell what it is, right? Tell me you can tell what it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but that's my doodles for the past few days. Um, I love this. I love how this came out. I'm really, really pleased with that. And my snitch. And then you've got my broom and my peace outside. Peace out, dudes. Um, sunshine potion bottle and woodstock and today we've got fireworks so yeah, I'm quite pleased with that so far oh uh, see we ordered already it's not even midday um yeah so I should be back tomorrow 
with Friday's edition of Today in My Bujo at some point, but it will be uploaded at the same time, so you guys shouldn't really see much of a difference. Um, it's just a difference in the production of. <laughs> uh, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and um, comments down below because you know what he said. He's, I would call him, but he's out in the garden having far too much fun. Probably killing my plants by giving him far too much water. Every time I go out there, my potted plants are soaked because he keeps watering them. I hope he doesn't. Well, I know he's killed a couple of them, but I hope he leaves the rest alone. <laughs> so I'll go find out in a minute when my watering can's moved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so leave us a comment down below um, if you click the book you'll be subscribed and if you hit the bell that appears notified when I upload new content yeah. YouTube willing I apologize for the yawning um, yeah just apologize for being so crap really sorry about that I'll see you tomorrow guys take it easy Bye. oh purple gleaner